I have I have a, I have a question for Pine Creek. Yeah. If, um, my question is, do you feel do you think that your interview with Bob Price that you were hard enough on him? Because I, I don't think you were, but I mean, do you feel like that when your interview with him, he had a lot of very controversial positions? I'm just curious if given my red- goals, yes. Uh, part of the reason why I'm doing this is because um, I'm a contrarian by nature. I um, I tend to do the opposite. So if you want me to do something, tell me to do the opposite. That's I'll give you a little insight. So someone said on Twitter yesterday, or I found out that Robert Price should be deep platform. So what I, what do I do? I platform him. Was it the goal to kind of tease out his positions without being like offensive yes, to yeah. him? No, okay. no, okay. not necessarily offensive. Like I, uh, there was a couple places where I pushed back pretty hard. I thought, but. Um, my job was to give him a platform to say whatever he wanted to say and address these, the main things, accusations against him. My, my goal was not to say, Hey, Bob, you're wrong. I think he was very wrong about like the January 6th insurrection thing. I think he was pretty wrong. I I asked him, I asked him in a later stream, uh, Nathan stream, maybe. Who he, you played the video of Ashley Babbitt getting shot and yeah. the oh and yeah and and he was he just changed he like his thing like oh video. maybe I'm wrong but but you know what made Nathan's video with Bob possible yours yeah. mine yeah. <laughs>where they can express their views, even if you don't agree with them. When two enemies are talking, they're not fighting, they're talking. It's when the talking ceases that the ground becomes fertile for violence.